Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we're going to be solving another fast number question of the topic circular measure. And this question that I have here is one of those questions that I get asked a lot, by the way. Um, it's one of those questions that are, I'm not, again, I'm not going to say difficult, but yeah, I mean, they're challenging. You know, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give this like a 7, 7 or 8, 10 being, of course, the most difficult. And this is uh, from October, November 2020, paper 1, variant 2. So anyway, enough talk, let's get down to business. So it says the diagram shows a rectangle ADEF where AF is equal to DE, which is equal to R. All right, so keep looking at the diagram also, AF equals to DE, which is equal to R, okay? Then it says the points B and C lie on AD such that AB is equal to CD, which is equal to R. All right, we can see that AB is equal to CD and they're both equal to R. Okay, that's great. Then it says the curve VC is an arc of a circle, center O, radius R, and has a length of 1.5 R. Show that the perimeter of the shaded region is so and so. Okay, now we have to find what? We have to find the perimeter of the shaded region. How exactly are we going to do that? I don't know, but let's find out. So we'll have to divide this, okay? So there are a couple of lengths that are given to us straight away, okay? So we don't have to worry a thing about, about those lengths, but a couple of lengths we have to find out, okay? How exactly are we gonna do it? Let's see. Let's first talk about the lengths that are given to us, okay? So we have this length, all right? This is R, and so is this, and so is this. That means this length will also be R. So all together we have how many Rs? We have one, two, three, and four, okay? So we have R plus R plus R, plus r, or we could have just written 4r, same thing. Okay, uh, then we have the arc length, uh, if I'm not wrong, center O, radius r. Yeah, the curve BC is an arc of a circle, center O, radius r, and has length 1.5r. So that means we have 1.5r also, okay? So 1.5r, so plus 1.5r. So let's highlight all the lengths that we have considered, all right? There is, however, one length that we haven't considered, and that is perhaps, um, the length for which you get most of the marks, okay? So let me show you which one, which length I'm talking about. So I'm talking about this length, okay? So this is one length that we need to find out if I want the perimeter of the shaded region, okay? So let's sum, let's sum these lengths up, okay? And then we're gonna put them on the side and then we're gonna focus entirely on Fe. So we have 4R plus 1.5, so that's 5.5R, right? So that means so far we have 5.5R, okay? Now let's focus on the length that I've highlighted in red, for which I've switched to the color red. And this length, as I mentioned earlier, is the length Fe. Okay, now let's let's see, let's focus and see how we can find the length Fe. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, all right? Here's what has come to my mind. So I can divide this length into something like this, okay? So what I can do is, I know for a fact that this length will be R, okay? Let's let's call this x and let's call this y. Okay, so fx is going to be r. Okay, so will ye. Okay, ye will also be equal to r. Okay, so that means one thing that I know about fe is that it's definitely going to be r plus r plus something. And what is that something? That's this length xy. Now, how do I find out this length? Do not be confused and think that this length is going to be the same as the length the arc length. Okay, that's that's curved. This length is a horizontal line. Okay, so they're going to be different. However, this length will be the same as the length that goes from B to C, okay? So that means what I need to find out is what the length B, C is. Okay, how do I do that? Let's see. So if you notice, the question gave you the arc length of the sector, okay? How will that help me? That will help me find out this angle, okay? How will I find out this angle? So here's how I do it. I know that the arc length S is equals to R theta, right? I know that the arc length is 1.5 R, R is R theta, we don't know. So what does that tell me? That gives me the angle and that's 1.5 radian. So I'm going to instantly replace this with 1.5 radian. Okay, now here's the thing. What I want is the length that runs from B to C. So what I need to do now is, ideally I should make a perpendicular line from O all the way to the line BC. And what this perpendicular line will do is, is that it will divide BC into half. Okay, so let's just call this A. I can write, and I'll write here A is basically half of B, C. Once I have the length of A, I'll just times it by two and that'll give me the entire length. What this perpendicular line will also do is that it will divide the angle by half also, or uh, not by half, divide by two, because dividing by half means multiplying by two. Yeah, so uh, this will divide the angle by two. That means this 1.5 will no longer be 1.5. Instead, it's gonna be 0 0.75 radian. So here's the thing, 0 0.75 is the angle. The length that I want is opposite of 0 0.475, which means it's the opposite length. 
the land that I have is the hypotenuse, so I'm going to use sine. Yeah. So here's how I will be using sine. I'll say sine of 0 0.75 is equals to opposite, which is A, over hypotenuse, which is R. All right. So now I can work out A, and that's going to be equal to R of sine 0 0.75. Now, here's something that I want you to notice, and that is if you look at the answer, you'll notice that sine is already in. Uh, I mean, it's left at 0 0.75, they haven't evaluated it. So what I will do is, I will also leave it as one point, um, as 0 0.75, or into sine 0 0.75. But bear in mind that we wanted the length that goes from B to C, which is going to be twice of this. So that means BC, I'll write it over here, in fact, that BC is going to be twice of A, which means 2R sine of 0 0.75. And hopefully you guys can see where I'm going with this. So FE is going to be equal to 2R plus 2R, sine of 0 0.75 okay now if you want the total so i'm going to switch to a neutral color so the total is going to be equal to 5.5 r plus 2 r sine of 0 0.75 okay wait i forgot to write uh 2 r so there's a 2 r in between yeah so 2 r plus 2 r sine of 0 0.75 okay now we can work out the total and now the total is equals to 5.5 plus 2 so that's 7.5 r plus 2r sine of 0 0.75. Now, what can we do in order to make sure that the answer is exactly the same way that the question wants us to? We can take r common, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take r common to show that the total is indeed equal to 7.5 plus 2 sine 0 0.75. And bear in mind that I've taken r common. So there you go. Uh, this is uh, how you're supposed to do this part. And I, like I said at the beginning, that most of the marks are basically for finding out the length that goes from B to C. Everything else is pretty simple. No? Okay, so that was part A. Now we're doing part B, which says find the area of the shade region, giving an answer in the form KR square, where K is a constant correct to two decimal places. Okay, now, so notice again here also, we're supposed to give an answer in the form of KR square, so we really don't know what the value is. K, however, is a constant correct to two decimal places. Okay, now how exactly can we find out the area of the shade region? If you notice that I've sort of redrawn the whole thing, I mean, I've copy pasted the whole thing so that we don't have to do a lot of back and forth. So yeah, if I want to find out the area of the shade region, theoretically, here's what I will have to do. I will have to first find out the area of rectangle, right, area of rectangle, and from it, so area of rectangle, in fact, you know what, as we speak, let's just uh, make an outline of the rectangle, so there you go, okay, why did I put the equals to sign there, never mind, area of rectangle minus the area of this thing that you see, which by the way is called a segment, so minus area of segment. Okay, now as far as the segment goes, this we will have to further split into area of sector minus area of triangle. So this will be found by first calculating the area of sector. And from it, we'll have to minus the area of triangle in order to find the area of the segment. Okay, so I'll just put this in the center. Yeah, okay. So this is, I have, if you notice, I haven't really um, started any calculation at all, I've just sort of, um, you know, sort of made a roadmap as to what I need to do in order to find the area of the shade region, okay? So now I will officially begin the whole calculation for it, okay? So we already have what Fe is from before. So Fe, if I'm not wrong, is 2R plus 2R sine of 0 0.75, 2R sine of 0 0.75, and we know that the length is R. So as far as area of triangle goes, area of triangle can be worked out by simply multiplying R by 2r plus 2r sine of 0 0.75. Okay, so if I multiply this, I get 2r square plus 2r square sine of 0 0.75. So if you notice, I've still left sine of 0 0.5 as it is because we'll round off towards the very end. Okay, so we'll put this on the side for now, and now we're going to focus on the area of segment. So let's find out the area of the sector. So as far as area of sector goes, we have the arc length, right, If you, from before, it was 1.5 r, and we have the radius. So area of sector should, shouldn't be that difficult. Area of sector is equals to half r s, so r is r, the arc length is 1.5 r, so multiplying the two gives me, so what's 1.5 divided by two, that's 0 0.75, but in fraction, it's gonna be three upon four r squared. Okay, so that's area of sector. 
Now let's find out the area of triangle. So as far as area of triangle goes, area of triangle is equal to half times A. So the two lengths are going to be R and R and the angle in between is going to be 1.5. So half times R times R times sine of 1.5. Okay. So that gives us what? That gives us 1 upon 2 R square sine of 1.5. So we have all the ingredients, okay? We have the area of sector, we have the area of triangle, we have the area of rectangle, okay? Now it's just a matter of putting all these together and then giving an answer the way that the question wants us to. Okay, so I'm going to do just that now, for which I'm going to switch to a neutral color, the color I haven't used. Have I used green? Okay, we used green. Let's switch to red, which I haven't used. Okay, great. So area of rectangle is right here. So you have 2R square plus 2R square sine of 0. 75 and from it we need to minus the area of sector which is 3 upon 4 r square minus the area of triangle which is half r square sine of 1.5 okay now here comes the simplification part so we have 2 r square plus 2 r square sine of 0 0.75 as it is minus 3 upon 4 r square plus because minus minus is going to turn into plus 1 upon 2 r square sine of 1.5. Okay, so you know what I'm going to do at this point? I'm just going to take r square common. So if I take r square common now, I get 2 plus 2 sine of 0 0.75 minus 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 2 sine of 1.5. Okay, let me just double check to make sure I haven't done anything wrong. So take r square common, 2 plus 2 sine of 0 0.75 minus 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 2 sine of 1.5. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this whole thing in my calculator and work out the answer and that will be the value of k correct to uh, two decimal places. Okay, so you have 2 plus 2 sine of 0 0.75 bracket close. Make sure your calculator is in radian mode. Minus 3 upon 4, so 3 upon 4 in fraction form plus 1 upon 2 and then with the numerator only we will have sine of 1.5 okay so close the bracket press the equals to sign wait for the magic and now we have 3.112 which correct to two decimal places will be 3.11 only so the answer is 3.11 r squared and 3.11 is basically the value of k so yeah uh, that brings me to the end of this question i hope you guys have understood this uh, one thing that I want to say over here is that whenever you have questions where you feel like there's a lot of working that's going to go into before you get the final answer. So just make a roadmap, okay, just, just um, you know, put your, put some thought into it before you actually start working with the values. So, and you'll be fine. So yeah, uh, that's the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next video with one more pass from the questions. So